So, Eo is a film all about a donkey. The donkey is the central character. We follow the donkey throughout this film. And the entire film is through the donkey's perspective. So, this was a Polish film. It was nominated uh, at the Academy Awards for the Best uh, International Film. It, it didn't win. Um, just because I think, like, this is a film that's, like, it's it's so cerebral that I don't know if it's going to appeal to as many people. Just because there's... It, it, it's, it's a film that it says a lot without saying very much at all, if that makes any sense. The, the best way I can describe it is, like, if anyone has seen the film... Um, uh, it's by by Robert Bresson. It's called uh, uh, Al Hazar Balt. Uh, I'm gonna butcher the name here. Al Hazar Balthazar, and it's a film all about a donkey's journey and a donkey's eventual like death and the humans that the donkey comes into contact with. Uh, Eo is very much in that like it, it's it's a very easy comparison because it's a similar story. It takes place in modern times. You follow a donkey. Um, the donkey. Uh, interacts, not quite interact, I guess. He does interact a little bit, but he encounters several human characters and he learns about humanity and then eventually um, goes in, uh, you know, leads his life right up to his death. So, uh, to talk about this film, like, it, it's weird because, like, you almost have to kind of, like, talk about it on a, you know, on, on a little bit of, like, an, an existential level just to explain what makes it so brilliant. Because there are going to be... I'll, I'll say it right off the bat. This is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. A lot of people are going to watch this film and just be like, I don't I don't get it. It's just, just a donkey walking around. What, what, what's the saying? But the donkey encounter is, like, humanity's best and worst, um, which is the, the, the central... I, I doubt I even have to say it. That's, like, the central theme. If you watch, if you watch Balthazar, it's, it's pretty much the same deal. So... So yeah, it's just Eo. He starts off in a circus. Um, he's loved and he's loved and cared for by um, uh, Cassandra, but the the donkey has to be sold off, and the donkey gets sold off to like a farm where it's you know a bunch of kids get to pet it and show it some love, and eventually Cassandra finds her way back to Eo, but Eo's Eo's life kind of goes a little bit downhill after that. Eo gets taken in by. Um, uh, gets taken in by uh, people who want to like haul animal corpses. Eo tries to fight back, but he's still kind of, kind of bound by the human world. There isn't really much of an escape for him. Uh, at one point, he encounters a football team who kind of use him as a mascot, but the opposing team beat him up. So you have like humanity's hideousness through its competitive nature through there. And then later on, you you, you kind of get to see a donkey bear witness to you know humans who squabble over their life choices and uh, and and you know and basically money and sex i think is the best way to describe kind of more of that final arc and in between all this you, you mostly just watch like eo's perspective like eo just watches and silently kind of judges um you get a little bit of insight into eo's mind like at one point there's a very trippy and almost like nightmarish sequence where um uh, where Eo has this dream of uh, of a windmill in a field, and everything is red. The sky is red. There's like a red haze everywhere, and and it just makes you question, just like you know, what is what is what is Eo thinking? And more importantly, like you you look at Eo, and with his kind of like big eyes that kind of like reflect back the world, you you start asking like you know, okay, how do animals view us? Because, like, e even if you're not as engaged with, like, with Eo's journey, it, like, you're still kind of questioning in your mind, like, okay, this is a real donkey in this role. What is the, do what is going through the donkey's mind at this point? And how does it feel about the, the world that's being presented around it? Um, which is more or less what Eo is trying to accomplish. So, even when you're not so much thinking about the central narrative that's going on here and you're kind of thinking more about the production wise you're still more or less on the same wavelength about what this film is trying to communicate about you know man's relationship with um uh with with nature i don't think it's it's exactly on the same level as Balthazar, just because I think like like for anyone who's seen like Bresson's Balthazar like that's a film that has like a lot of religious um, undertones and iconography and it's it, it's a little bit more kind of like 
surface level like christian iconography like you look at how like um the, like the donkey is like stabbed in a similar way to christ you know you see aspects of like you know wine and bread and you know uh, how eo is eventually led to his death that kind of relates to christ a little bit it's it's more on a surface level like you know bresson's uh spirituality aspect is a little bit up in the air um but the the big thing with 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 eo i think is that uh, well uh, not you know talking about Balthazar. The big thing with like Balthazar is that Bresson wanted to communicate that um, that the more that the more that we grow older, we start seeing like you know um, start to see like aspects of God in nature and kind of better connect with it. Uh, more or less, what if if I'm remembering the the quote correctly, like Bresson was basically trying to communicate that um, that you know you need to recognize the soul in more than just like you know, humans and that, you know, you need to be cognizant of the world around you. And EO, I feel like it's, it's in that same vein where it's making you like question humanity's relationship to nature and how within more modern times, uh, EO is kind of like placed on this very rigid track. Um, and I love that kind of theme throughout it. Like even when like EO has moments to escape He's still on a track. Um, when we get up to EO's death, he's also on a track. Everything for EO's life is dictated by humans, and very little of it seems to be actually instigated or preferred by EO, which makes us kind of like you know question like you know how much you know how, how much independence do animals have to kind of form their own opinions on humanity. And if they did have that autonomy, then, you know, uh, how would they judge us, you know, <laughs> which is more or less what you start thinking of. And it's and, and it's kind of interesting to kind of consider that through these many arcs that uh, I, I guess it would be arcs that kind of kind of more like vignettes um, for which EO encounters different humans. Like some of them are nice and kind and loving. Others are hurtful. Um, others are like thieves and others are just straight up murderous at times. Uh, so yeah, it's it, it's one of those films that's just like it's 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 great to just like kind of like munch on cerebrally just to like think about the the relationship that humans have with animals. Um, and 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 I mean, if you're gonna do a film with like with animals, um, I feel like this is one of the more interesting films you can do with it. Like, there's very few films I've seen in the past few years that center on animals and actually have something more deeply profound to say about them rather than just making something kind of you know like hokey melodrama with like a dog's life or something like that uh like the closest comparison i can think would be something like white god which is <laughs> which is a little bit you know a little bit more on like the 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 darker violent side because there's a story about a dog leading a whole bunch of dogs into a rebellion um after judging humanity um, but EO is kind of more of like a kind of like quiet contemplation and judgment about uh, man's relationship with nature, which uh, for, for this type of film, it works incredibly well.